But in this business, folks, sometimes people will end up getting more rent than what is easily replicable. That does happen, and it's currently happening here with this particular property. Oh, thank God. I was like, who's this third person behind me? <laughs> Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are gonna provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you, giving it to you straight. Where can you buy duplexes for under 100K? Where can you buy duplexes for under 75K? Toledo, Ohio, folks, that's where. Under 100, no problem. Under 75, not a problem. I got one for you today. 1680 Western Ave, man. 74.9, okay? Now, as you'll see on the chart here, right? Got something else I want to show you. Got another question for you. Where can you buy Toledo duplexes for under 75K and get the most open and honest and transparent real estate analysis possible? Holton Wise TV, baby! Welcome to the show, right? What I want to bring your attention to on that chart is, okay, you see the current rent? $1,450 a month. You see the market rent? $1,400 a month. How often do you guys see somebody selling you a property where they tell you that the market rent is actually lower than the current rent? Probably never, but I do it all the time here on Holton Wise TV because I cut it to people straight, right? I don't have to convince you all that real estate investing is smart. I don't have to convince you all that investing in real estate can make you millions of dollars. Like, if you don't believe that investing in real estate is like, smart or like a good financial decision like i got nothing for you folks it's like one of the most tried and true uh methods of wealth creation ever okay so what my job really is is to educate you guys on like what the ownership experience will be like should you buy some of this rental real estate in markets like the toledo market right and i pride myself on bringing you guys uh accurate honest information right and oftentimes we'll be selling properties and it'd be like a mom and pop landlord and they haven't been keeping up with the property and they haven't been keeping up with the the market and they're not increasing their rents right and we'll give you a market rent that's higher than the current rent right you could take that kind of stuff to the bank right that is open raw real and authentic knowledge and education that we're providing you guys but in this business folks sometimes people will end up getting more rent than what is easily replicable. That does happen, and it's currently happening here with this particular property, right? They're running one of those units for 750, and I pride myself in providing you guys accurate information, and I'll tell you, I don't think you're often gonna get 750 for that unit. I think, in reality, what's more likely is the next tenant will probably pay 700. Now, there are random cases when you're investing in real estate where you can randomly get one person to pay uh, more, right? But doing so is going to require you to either A, lower uh, your tenant screening standards, or B, add an additional vacancy time, right? So is it possible to get 750 in rent for that unit? Yes, of course it is. We have been proved, it's been proven that you can get 750. But if you're trying to have reasonably professional and consistent tenant screening standards, number one, number two, you're trying to rent it in 30 days or less, which is what is usually uh, most real estate investors target time of vacancy, I would say say 700 is the more accurate uh, market rent for this. So we're going to go based on those numbers. You could run your numbers however you like, folks, but I believe that the proper way to run your numbers on this particular investment property is with a market rent of 1400 right? You're out there in Toledo. What I think is best for neighborhoods like this in Toledo is going to be Section 8 investing. This is going to be a neighborhood that is fairly difficult. It's a low-income neighborhood. I believe Section 8 is the cheat code for investing in these low-income neighborhoods, right? When you're dealing with a difficult tenant base, y'all, the number one issue that leads to all the other potential issues is the inability to collect rent. You don't collect the tenant's rent. You have to evict the tenant. You lost money going to court. You lost money by not getting rent. You lost money when your unit went vacant. You lost money when you had to fix up your unit. You potentially lost money when somebody broke into your vacant unit, right? Right? 
almost all those problems are solved by Section 8 because you never miss that rent payment, right? So I think this is a perfect Section 8 investment for investors who like that Section 8 lifestyle. 1400 in rent for a price point of 749 you really can't beat it now from here what you want to do should you want to buy this property is send your offers to my team at sales at holtonwise.com unfortunately for you guys we do not have any more photos uh, or interior footage uh, the day my film crew went out to the property uh, the tenants, unfortunately, uh, did not make their appointment and let us inside. Let me give you all a little pro tip when it comes to investing in Section 8 properties, folks. Uh, tenants do not like random people coming into their units, right? Tenants will say, yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll be there for that appointment. And then they will flake on you. That is something that's common in this business that happens. That's why here at Holton Wise TV... We show you guys the video tours, try to give you as much information as we can. We do make every effort to get inside. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Uh, but what we do not do is allow random buyers to just uh, schedule showing appointments and bother the tenants. That does not happen. We, you know, we'll get rookies and newbies out there that will want to call and be like, Dad! interested in the property when can i come view it fucking never bro never you don't it doesn't work that way folks you don't get to just think you want to wake up one day and be a real estate investor and then like the tenants are going to let you disturb their lives that's not how it works uh so we make every effort to actually get in there and give you guys the video tours uh so you can just watch that unfortunately here sometimes it's even more difficult than that and they don't even let our team in uh so what we have going on right now is a situation layer what you see is what you get from here. You'll want to make your offer, and you'll make your offer contingent on inspection. At the time you have your offer contingent on inspection and it gets approved by the seller, at that time we will go above and beyond and make sure we get you into that unit for your inspection. We will actually have someone there on site in addition to the tenants to make sure you and or your home inspector can get inside, right? So if you'd like to submit your offer, make a contingent on inspection, send it to sales at holtonwise.com. There'll be one and only one inspection. If you would like to go with the inspector, that's totally fine. It could be you, it could be your contractor, could be your inspector, but it's all going to happen on one day. The only scenario where we open this property up more than that one time is if it's a financed offer, in which case we will open it up for the appraisal. And at that point, if you'd like to tag along for that appraisal, you can do that as well, right? So one, possibly two times, uh, we will go through all the efforts with the tenant and the owner to coordinate all of that and get you in there. If that is not something uh, that you're interested in dealing with or if you think that sounds like too much of a hassle, I am here to tell you as somebody who sold $200 million worth of Section 8 real estate, somebody who's managed thousands and thousands of tenants throughout Ohio, I'm here to tell you the Section 8 investing in Toledo ain't your bag, bro, because this is just par for the course. I know we get a lot of folks out there that they hook up with the first realtor off of Zillow.com and it's some lovely lady uh, who you know normally sells suburban properties and they don't really deal with the rental business and they're very confused when they can't just take you on a tour of the property but that ain't how the section 8 biz works folks i'm here to tell you that this kind of stuff is normal and if you want to become a section 8 investor you better strap in because that's your life now if that sounds good to you and you want to move forward again shoot those offers to my team sales at holtonwise.com cash offers include pre-approval i'm sorry cash offers include proof of funds financed offers include that pre-approval let's go Supposedly. Supposed to be. What the fuck is this a water balloon? <laughs> no. What is that? This is a good hike? I think so. There used to be a porch here. That's gone. Oh, thank God. I was like, who's this third person behind me? <laughs> and I would say 
1618 Western. Hmm? So then that was 1618 Western. 1680. Yeah, whatever. Who the <laughs> fuck cares? <laughs> yeah, whatever. How's the drone going? going? Do we get pictures? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not 1616, it's 1680. It's 1680. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.